Hello everybody, welcome to The Daily Sip. My name is Oliver and my mission is to bring you closer to organic Japanese green tea. And today what we're gonna dive into is actually that when we were the last time in Japan, we actually heard that you can cool down or a way to cool down your tea water to a certain temperature is actually with tea cups. So um, what we want to dive into today is certainly the temperature of a perfect tea. So what we promote often is when you go on high quality Japanese green tea, then you should go for a te water temperature that's a little bit lower. But not everybody of us do have actually a tea kettle which is uh, or which has an included uh, temperature regulator. So actually what we need is a little bit of help to do this. So what I prepared for today is actually that I started um, uh, to boil water at uh, the temperature and I each time measure also the temperature. So here we have closed boiling water. Here we have 91 degrees Celsius, 91 degrees Celsius is around 198 Fahrenheit. When it's boiling water, it's even a little bit higher, but I think it, it gets very close uh, to boiling water. So this is actually what I wanted for this video. And then I just wanted to see how the water cools down from cup to cup. So I have two cups here and um, I even uh, can get a third one, but let's stay with these two ones. And then let's see how much we actually go down from cup to cup and see if there's a difference if uh, for the first uh, cup actually the water drop maybe or the temperature drop is higher and then and then in the second one or vice versa. So actually let's have a look at this. So we're going to start with this 198 Fahrenheit and uh, you can see here uh, the temperature 90 degrees Celsius. Um, oh, it's dropping down already. So it was at 90 degrees Celsius. Maybe I just show it like this and it's clear. So we see really the temperature is on the level of 82 degrees Celsius and rising. So we are at 92 to 91 degrees Celsius. And now I'm just curious how uh, the temperature will evolve. So I'm gonna put this here. No, I just do it for you. Okay, so it's dropping and dropping, dropping. And now let's just take the amount we want for the cup. We fill up the cup. And then what I see, okay, now I'm at 80, 81, 82. So it stays at 82. So it drops exactly 10 degrees Celsius um, here and 10 degrees Celsius. This would then drop to 180 Fahrenheit. So now yeah, we go even a little bit lower now. So it's around 77. So it's even, so it's around, I would say roughly around 10 degrees. We are tending to be with, with, between 170, 175. So uh, we have 10 degrees Celsius, which finally are around 30, um, or we are dropping here around 28 to 30 Fahrenheit per cup. So let's go to the next one then. So what I know is, okay, 170, maybe a little bit of around this. So we promote mostly between 160, 165. So we are slightly too high. That's why automatically I also went um, to the second cup directly. So here with this temperature, you're actually absolutely able to brew Japanese green tea. Here you're more in the center region. Um, Gyokuro, which is the highest quality green tea, my highest caffeinated green tea, there you even drop lower, that's why also for the second. And me, uh, personally, I like when the temperature is a little bit lower, I often drink it at 60 to 65 degrees Celsius, which is between 140 and 150 Fahrenheit, and that's why I immediately moved here. But definitely, you can actually already enjoy a proper and a good a glass or good cup of green tea with this temperature. But now let's go further and use the second cup. So then measure it again. And now we are 
around 60 Yeah, 67, so the water temperature was around 77 degrees Celsius when I took it out, and now we are at 68, so again, more or less 9 to 10 degrees Celsius, which be then here when we go on 68, um, which would be 154 Fahrenheit. So actually, this is the water temperature I personally like. So what we know, if we could go even one further, there we talk about then 135, 114. This is really a low temperature. This is the temperature where you also can do a Gyokuro. Mr. Sakamoto, he even goes down to room temperature. So that's what, what, what we learned from him. So absolutely a possible way. Here, I like this temperature quite a lot. And what I will do now is actually that I will take uh, Sencha and then I will just compare for you to see um, what actually does it mean um, when we use different temperatures so here I put five grams of tea in this first one and I put five grams in my second plate Good, so then I take the same Kyusu, but what I'm also interested in actually is to see how is the temperature drop in a Kyusu. So when you have a Japanese green teapot, um, what you know already when you pour it in the cup, you actually bring down the water temperature. Similar it will be with the Kyusu, but now I wanna exactly know. So let's take a last look at this one here. So. When we measure the temperature now, we should be still around 92 degrees, so it is 195 Fahrenheit. Yeah, it went a little bit lower. As soon as you don't close it, uh, it's quite impressive how fast the temperature goes down. So we are actually at 86. 86 degrees Celsius would then be 187 Fahrenheit. So this is the temperature we're in. Now from 86, we just pour it in just to see. And now let's measure it again. Now we are 75, even goes up, 76, and it stops more or less at 76. Yeah, 76 then would be uh, 168 Fahrenheit. So um, here we dropped from 186 to 76 means 168. So we have around 20 Fahrenheit, which we drop here. So quite interesting. So um, I would say we are between 20 and 25 Fahrenheit, um, which we are dropping each time when we use water. And uh, here also we see that actually the Q cools it down also around 10 degrees Celsius. So, um, 10 degrees Celsius, which is, um, it depends. So I'm always checking here because uh, I don't know it by heart. So when we go to from 86, 86 to 76, yeah, we're around 18 to 20 uh, Fahrenheit. So this is the correct temperature. So um, here we really are talking about um, a, a moving of this 18 to 20 degrees. So um, actually confirms what we heard uh, in Japan. So, but now I actually want to go into and see if I'm using very, very hot water. So what I want to do is I just... Leave this, good. Now, 
Here we have a preheated Q so now because I used the water here, so I want to use I wanted to use before. So just check um, what temperature we are now. Now that we let it sit a little bit, I would say we are maybe even below 60 degrees Celsius, which would be below 140 Fahrenheit. We are around uh, 57, 57 degrees Celsius is 135 so actually quite a good temperature still and i will use the preheated so that my water temperature drop is not or doesn't happen um, with this one i use five grams of my fukamushi here deep steamed green tea and i pour it in then preheated cup so it will not drop so maybe we just check Let's see what temperature we are. Didn't it really drop? It's very similar. Uh, 53 now. Before, before we were at 56. 54. 54 one. So maybe 55. So we have more or less one degree Celsius, which this drops from 57 to 56. This would mean that we have around six Fahrenheit, which we lose uh, five. Good, 56, 57. Yeah, we have very, very small temperature drop here. I would say around two to three Fahrenheit. And here I just want to pour this here in the cup. And then I'm gonna pour it here. So we have quite a hot tea water. Use the five grams. And then just have a look how actually this remains here this one we can take out normally you can do 45 seconds here i uh, did also one and a half minutes so for the fukamushi you're actually quite fast but as it, the temperature was lower so at this 135 fahrenheit or 55 degrees celsius i expect the tea to be actually quite smooth and not astringent at all here we just wait a little bit more. Clearly hotter, the teapot. And let's pour it. Good. Okay, let's put this here. Already in comparison, what do we see? This one here a little bit clearer, this one a little bit more cloudy, as you can see from uh, the tea color. And now I'm curious, normally you actually have when you are doing it, or the last time when I compared two different teas, is actually often a sign of more sweetness. So here actually I should have more sweetness just from the color and here less. But here we have the lower uh, temperature extraction, here the hotter temperature extraction. So finally, we are actually um, we are actually on a different kind of way of looking at the teas for me at the moment, due, uh, comparing to my last experiences. But now I'm really curious how the tea tastes. So here is the low temperature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's nice about this Fukamushi, it's a little bit more of an astringent Fukamushi, so there's more astringency attached to it, which gives it a very vegetal, very grassy, very refreshing citrusy note. But as I'm using lower um, temperature water, here definitely 
what I feel is that there's much more smoothness, much for a little bit cucumbery freshness with it. So as soon as I'm using a lower temperature water, here definitely I'm getting much more of this uh, nice, beautiful, sweet, refreshing, and um, a little bit more vegetal note in term of this tea, um, which is uh, from Mr. Sen Cohen. So now next one. So this is now the hot temperature tea. Mm -hmm. So here, already it's harder. It's always for me why I also like low temperature teas, just it gives you much more expansion of the tea, it gives you much more expansion of the palate, the complexity is higher of the tea. Meanwhile, with the hotter water, it's just hotter, the mouth is less able to absorb the different tastes and I get a little bit more of a stringency. Definitely on the side of the tongue, much more astringent. So you have much more of the catechins which are released by in the tea. Here I already did a kind of a temperature drop with using the cup, even though the cup was preheated, I uh, lost maybe two, two, degree, two to three degrees. I didn't preheat the Kyusu, which dropped the water again um, by around 20 Fahrenheit. So in essence, finally, the tea water was around 80 degrees Celsius, which is just the upper score, the upper scale when you're going to Japan, often it's between 70 and 80 but not higher as 80. As soon as you go higher, and as soon as I would have taken it directly from this teapot into a preheated Kyusu, then uh, I would have had the 90 degrees Celsius or around 195 degrees Fahrenheit. So there would have been very, very high in temperature, which then would even provoke more the stringency to come out, more the catechins to come out. So then you actually have an astringent tea and an unpleasant tea also, which then tastes um, not, not very um, good if you don't like astringency too much. When you're a lover of astringency, then definitely go for very high wa high temperature water around 195 200 uh, fahrenheit it's amazing then you really get a quite a refreshing tea to be honest but there's quite a strong astringent tea attached nevertheless if you go down with the water temperature then you really change the flavor profile of the tea bringing it more into a smooth in my opinion a more complex also uh, way of enjoying the tea but it's very personal how you prefer it. Maybe your pre preference is then the in-between. Here we are at 135. Here we are around, I would say, 175 to 180. So maybe in-between lies your preference. And that's why you have to try it a little bit yourself. I just wanted to tell you or to show you here um, what is actually the difference when you preheat a Kyusu, when you use the cups to drop down the water. But I think uh, what we can take out of this session is as the cup, as the teapots, normally we talk about 10 degrees Celsius, which, around, which are around 18 to 20 Fahrenheit, what, which are dropping the water temperature. So if you really want to go there, just take a cup. It doesn't have to be a Japanese tea cup. You can also take a normal cup. As you saw, it has just to be either ceramic or clay. It drops the temperature and then you really see actually what um, uh, what's the flavor difference also of the teas. And if you're a tea bag tea, tea drinker at home, maybe just try this with your tea bag tea and I'm sure you will also find a difference in taste profile. Meanwhile, I will enjoy these teas. Mm. It's clearly a little bit more stringent on the side. Mm -hmm. Especially after there's coming a lot of astringency. It's quite a bright tone, this kind of a little bit high citrusy, citrusy citrus peel, um, kind of the lemon peel um, flavor profile, which I get a lot out of this one here. Mm. Mm. It's much sweeter. Now that I let it sit a little bit, it really developed a nice smoothness, especially when I take it in. It was kind of a nice, smooth and more body to it as well. I get a little bit of this cucumber notes, but in the end, there's a slight astringency attached to this tea. 
but it's much more smooth, a little more softer green notes. Here we get a little bit the zesty lemony notes of the tea. Here we definitely get more of this kind of uh, vegetal, fresh spinach uh, tones, um, sweet tones as well. Going a little bit, there's a slight, slight note I would say, it goes in a little, in a little bit in the direction of a pear um, or peachy, just very, very slight. So this tea in general is a little bit greener in its taste notes, so the spinachy notes, maybe the cucumbery notes are more present, and then uh, we are going more in the direction of this a little bit more sweeter tones. Meanwhile, here, mm, yeah, definitely the lemony. It's a little bit of a nuttiness also with this, so super interesting. Anyway, okay, so let's uh, try it for yourself. You see there's an unlimited world to explore with Japanese green tea. I hope you like this one too. And uh, if you never have uh, asked us a question, feel free to do so. And if you want to join us on all of the different uh, social medias, please do so and ask us, drop us a question, leave a comment, whatever you like. We will be happy to answer them. See you and bye-bye.